Setting and Plot Structure, Level D, Lesson 29. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Identify elements of a story, including sequence of events, setting, and problem and resolution. 2. Describe how the parts of a story build on each other in a sequence. 3. Explain the influence of setting on plot. What should you know before doing this lesson? A story has a beginning, middle, and end. Each part of a story builds on the one before it. A story's setting is where and when the action takes place, and the setting can affect the plot. A story has a problem and a resolution, or a solution to the problem. Some awesome words to look at before we read are Novice Novice is a noun. It is a person who is new to or inexperienced in a situation. A synonym for novice is beginner. Rival Rival is a noun. It is a person competing with another in the same activity. A synonym for rival is competitor. Stories have several important elements. One element is sequence of events. The parts of a story build on each other in order or sequence. A second important element is setting or where the story takes place. Stories also have a problem and a resolution or something that solves the problem. Follow along and listen as I read the story. Friends to the end. The bike race was about to begin. It was the hottest part of the day and the sun was glaring down. Still, a big crowd had gathered at the city park to watch the race. A food vendor was busy selling cold drinks to hot people. Emma took a sip of water and shaded her eyes from the hot sun. She still had to squint. She wished she had sunglasses like Yuki did. She and Yuki checked their helmets one last time and pedaled into their lanes. A man guided them into their places at the starting gate. Emma was in lane two. Yuki was in lane five. They waved to each other and grinned. Emma and Yuki had met a few years ago when they were both novices. Now they were two of the fastest racers in their group. Off the track, they were best friends. On the track, they still tried hard to beat each other. Riders ready? Watch the gate, the starter announced. Then the gate came down and the racers were off. Yuki took the lead with Emma close behind. They flew over the hills and around the turns. The other racers could not keep up. They started to drop back. Only one girl stayed close. Her red helmet bobbed up and down as she chased Emma and Yuki, but she was getting tired. Emma passed Yuki on the next hill. Then Yuki regained the lead on the next curve, but not for long. Soon Emma was ahead again. Then Yuki inched out in front. They were almost even as they headed into the last lap. As the girls rounded another curve, the slanting sun shone right into their eyes. For a moment, Emma couldn't see. Her front wheel hit a rock, and her handlebars jolted sideways. Suddenly, Emma was tumbling off her bike. Yuki slammed on her brakes to see if Emma was okay. Emma jumped up, gave Yuki an okay sign, and started to pick up her bike. Emma's mom called out, Emma, are you okay? Emma looked up to smile at her mom. Then she had a great idea. Mom! Can I borrow your hat? Emma dashed over, put the hat on, and jumped back onto her bike. Then both girls began pedaling even faster than before. They had to make up for lost time now that Emma could see better. Finally, the finish line was in sight. The girls gripped their handlebars and pumped hard. They sprinted toward the end. 
It was going to be close, really close. Just then, a flash of red went by. It was the girl with the red helmet. She had snuck up from behind. She crossed the line and won the race by an inch. Emma came in second, and Yuki was third. They could not believe it. The two rivals had been so busy trying to beat each other that they never saw the other girl catching up to them. They laughed and shook their heads. Then they went over to shake her hand. Okay, let's look at identifying parts of a story. This is the beginning or first part of the story, Friends to the End. The highlighted words help set the scene. They introduce the characters. They tell where they are. and set the scene for what is about to happen. This is where the middle of the story starts. This part of the story includes events that are part of the rising action. What is happening here? The gate came down and the racers were off. What are the characters doing? Yuki took the lead with Emma close behind. Emma passed Yuki. Yuki regained the lead. Emma was ahead again. Yuki inched out in front. These three paragraphs describe parts of the race. They also connect the middle of the story to the end. Which word signals that you are moving toward the end? Right the word finally. Do you see another highlighted word that helps signal or show the order of events? Stories usually follow a time order sequence. Writers use signal words to show sequence. Can you identify any other phrases from paragraph 9 that move the story along? How about, the finish line was in sight, sprinted toward the end, and it was going to be close. With stories, try to identify what happens at the beginning, the middle, and the end. Now let's identify setting. Remember that a story's setting is where and when the action takes place. Let's revisit the beginning of Friends to the End and think about its setting this time. A story's setting can have an effect on or influence the plot. To identify a story's setting, look for details about where and when the action takes place. What is a detail that tells you where Friends to the End takes place? Yes. City Park. What is a detail that helps you infer when the story takes place? Because sometimes story details tell you directly where and when the story takes place. Other times readers must make inferences. So the phrases, hottest part of the day, sun was glaring down. Now, based on those details, when do you think this story takes place? If you say midday or mid-afternoon, you are correct. Let's identify problem and resolution. In all good stories, the main character has a challenge or a problem of some kind to solve. A character's problem and how he or she solves the problem make up the action in a story. Problems and resolutions are important to a story's plot. The plot of a story is the sequence of events. A problem is something in a character's way. The character has to solve the problem either alone or with help. The resolution 
is how the problem is solved. What is a problem in this part of Friends to the End? Emma has trouble seeing in the bright sun. Remember earlier in this lesson, we talked about setting and how it can influence the plot. This is an example of the setting where the sun was glaring down, influencing the plot. What is the solution to this problem? Emma borrows her mom's hat. How does this event influence the plot? Well, Emma has to get off her bike and it puts her behind in the race. Let's review what we talked about in this lesson. Elements. They include sequence of events, setting, problem, and resolution. Sequence is how the parts of a story build on each other. The influence of setting on plot, where and when a story takes place, has a direct effect on the events of the story. You learned that novice is a person who is new to or inexperienced in a situation. You learned that rival is a person competing with another in the same activity. And you reviewed the sequence words, then, finally.